Something has appeared in the earliest corners of the universe. Something so strange, so densely packed, and so luminous that it shook the very foundations of cosmology. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward the edge of time, it captured something no astronomer expected, countless red dots glowing like embers across the cosmic canvas. At first glance, they looked like faint stars or distant galaxies. But they weren't stars. They weren't galaxies as we knew them. Their very existence seemed impossible, defying the rules of gravity, light, and time. For over two years, scientists struggled to explain them. These tiny crimson points suggested that the universe in its infancy followed different laws, rules unlike anything we see today, rules that may have been temporary, fleeting, and violently unstable. It began in late 2022. Webb started sending back images filled with faint red specks tiny in size but absurdly bright in power. At first, some thought it was a data glitch. But the patterns were consistent. These objects weren't red because of cosmic redshift, as though racing away from us at high speed. They were red because they were wrapped in enormous blankets of dust, hiding every other wavelength of light and letting only a deep glow of crimson escape. And they weren't rare. Nearly every deep field web captured contained them. When scientists measured their distances, the mystery grew stranger. These objects lived only in a narrow cosmic window. They appeared around 600 million years after the Big Bang and were gone by 1.6 billion years. On a cosmic scale, this was just a fleeting moment. And yet, during that short span, these objects erupted across the universe, and then disappeared without a trace. The first explanation was that they were compact, primitive galaxies, ancestors of the spirals and ellipticals we see today. But the numbers didn't fit. Their brightness was too great, their mass too high, their density unimaginable. Some were just 1% the size of the Milky Way, yet rivaled the largest galaxies in total starlight. That density should have been catastrophic. Stars should have collided constantly, collapsing into black holes or exploding as supernovae. Instead, these structures held together. It was a paradox. Theories spread quickly. Maybe these were early galaxies influenced by dark matter clumping more aggressively than our models predict. Maybe they revealed new forces or particles unknown to physics. A few even suggested they could be echoes of a universe before our Big Bang, fossils from a deeper reality bleeding into ours. Then came a radical idea. These weren't galaxies at all. They were monsters, supermassive black holes, born impossibly early, growing absurdly fast, and hidden beneath dusty cocoons. The light we saw wasn't from stars. It was the furious blaze of accretion disks, rings of matter spiraling into black holes so massive they warped spacetime itself. This theory explained their brightness and compactness. But it raised a bigger puzzle. How could black holes grow so huge, so quickly? In today's universe, central black holes account for only a small fraction of a galaxy's mass. But in these ancient objects, they were nearly everything. That suggested something unthinkable, that galaxies may not have formed first, with black holes inside them. Instead, galaxies may have formed around black holes. If so, the story of the universe is upside down. The cosmos didn't grow gently and slowly. It exploded into complexity, pulled together by monsters of gravity, rewriting the order of creation itself. Yet speculation wasn't enough. Proof was needed. And scientists found it, hidden in hydrogen. When astronomers studied the hydrogen emission lines, they saw them broadened far beyond expectations. In astrophysics, broadened lines mean speed, violent motion on unimaginable scales. The gas was moving ten times faster than material orbits the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Nothing else could explain it. Only black holes of extreme size and power. But one problem lingered. These objects emitted no X-rays, the usual sign of black holes feeding. At first, that seemed to weaken the theory. Until someone realized the truth. The X-rays weren't missing, they were trapped. At such enormous densities, radiation was smothered by the surrounding dust and gas, scattered endlessly and unable to escape. 
These black holes weren't silent. They were screaming into the void, but their voices were swallowed before they reached us. This was the missing chapter. A hidden era when black holes grew unseen, buried in dust, devouring matter, and quietly building the massive galactic cores we see today. Webb hadn't just uncovered anomalies. It had revealed a stage of cosmic history that no telescope had ever glimpsed before, an age of invisible growth, hidden power, and violent creation. And if this happened once, it could still be happening. Even today, there may be galaxies so dusty, so veiled, that their black holes are invisible to us, lurking in silence. The universe may still be hiding monsters in plain sight. This forces us to ask, have we been looking at the wrong things all along? For decades, models of galaxy formation and cosmic evolution relied on clean, visible data. But Webb is showing us something far messier. An early universe dominated not by order, but by chaos. By forces so extreme that our theories break under their weight. The little red dots aren't curiosities. They are warnings. They suggest that galaxies were not assembled slowly over billions of years, but ripped into shape by engines of gravity. They hint that our timelines of star formation, black hole growth, and galactic evolution may be wrong by entire epochs. And then, just as suddenly as they appeared, they were gone. By 1.6 billion years after the Big Bang, every one of these dots had disappeared. Not gradually. Completely. What happened? The most likely explanation is that they became quasars, brilliant galactic cores powered by ravenous black holes. Perhaps mergers ripped them apart. Perhaps star formation pushed outward, thinning the dusty cocoons. Or maybe they simply ran out of fuel, collapsing into silence. Whatever the truth, nothing like them exists in the nearby universe today. They belong to a lost era. Yet whispers remain. In more recent cosmic epochs, astronomers have found compact galaxies nicknamed green peas. They're different, but they share unsettling traits. High density, short lifespans, and intense bursts of light. Some now suspect they may be distant cousins of the little red dots, echoes of a phenomenon that the universe may replay in different forms across time. The lesson is clear. Webb isn't just showing us distant light. It is exposing shadows, hidden phases of cosmic history we never imagined. The little red dots were never supposed to exist. They weren't in the equations. They weren't in the textbooks. But they are etched into the first billion years of the cosmos like scars across space-time. Webb hasn't just rewritten a chapter of astronomy. It has shown us that the universe is more chaotic, more violent, and more mysterious than we ever believed. For decades, we thought physics was universal, unchanging, and eternal. But perhaps the laws of nature were forged in chaos, not order. Perhaps they bend, twist, and break under conditions so extreme that our models collapse. The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't only revealed what's out there. It has reminded us how little we truly know. The little red dots are gone, but their legacy remains. A keyhole glimpse into a universe that refuses to be tamed, where black holes may come first, where light can lie, and where time itself seems to burn at the edges of reason. So, what else is the universe hiding? Are these ancient black holes rewriting the story of cosmic history? Or have we only uncovered the first layer of a truth so deep it cannot be contained by science alone? Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you believe these black holes were the seeds of galaxies, or are they signs of something stranger, physics itself rebelling at the dawn of time? If this journey opened your mind, give it a like, share it with someone who still thinks the universe is simple, and don't forget to subscribe for more revelations from the edge of the cosmos.